So I've really been thinking a lot about failure the last few days, especially uh, in con context with my art. Yesterday I came here to do a charcoal drawing of a tree and I had intended to make it into a video. And just the process of it, doing the drawing, I felt like the drawing was really good, but when I finished with my footage, it was, it was really terrible. Um, half the drawing was off the page entirely, and I just felt like I couldn't use it. And so I was really struggling with feeling like a failure and kind of like, what's the point? And so I've been thinking a lot about that, and I wanted to talk to you about that because I know that feeling insecure and afraid is something that really affects a lot of people who are trying to be creative, whether I see that all the time with my students who are children or adults uh, who are even students. You see it with even people who you know aren't taking lessons or studying an art form, but I feel like this is kind of a universal thing, and so I kind of wanted to talk about it. But anyways, I wanted to talk about kind of these statements that I had running through my head after feeling like a failure and kind of the conclusion I had to come to that I thought I would share with you guys. Um, because if you don't address it, really feelings of insecurity and failure can honestly just stop you from creating at all. So the first statement of insecurity I heard in my head was that you really are a failure and you have no self-confidence like a real artist. You know, a real artist wouldn't get bummed out because of one bad drawing or one bad YouTube video. And the thing that I thought about that is, really, it's not your feeling that makes you an artist. It's not feeling confident. It's not feeling like a success. It's not how you feel. It's not what you think about yourself. It's what you do. Confidence doesn't make you an artist. Feeling great all of the time doesn't make you an artist. Just like feeling insecure or feeling like a failure or feeling like you're not that amazing doesn't make it so either. It's not how you feel, it's what you do that matters. Your potential as an artist, your potential as a human being, whether, whether it's art, whether it's raising a family or doing your job, doesn't lie in how you feel about it or even how other people feel about it. It lies in what you do. You have potential, you have worth, you have value, regardless of how you feel. It's all about what you do that matters, that makes the difference in this world. Even today when I came back to try and reshoot this video and do another drawing, I kind of sat in my car for about 20 minutes just staring out the window, having, hearing this statement in my head saying, it's not even worth trying. Why, why are you even wasting your time doing this? It's not even worth trying. If you've ever felt like that, why even waste my time trying? Why even waste my time doing a drawing? It's not going to be good. Why even waste my time trying to sing? I can't sing in tune. I can't sound like this person, look like this person. I'm not going to be famous. I'm not going to make a lot of money. I realize that you can't know the full riches of life. You can't know the full riches of whatever it is you're, you're doing until you do it. You can't know how great it is to sing unless you try to sing. And I think that this self-defeating attitude can creep into our minds. Things that people say, things that happen to us can make us feel like it's not even worth trying. But you don't know what's worth trying until you do it. It kind of goes back to the thing with your potential. You have unlimited potential as long as you try. Yeah, you might try and fail, but it's worth trying because you won't find out how amazing and good living your life is, doing good things, being creative and seeking out your passions until you try it. You can't know the full riches something has to offer unless you try. The last thing that you might think is, well, I tried, but I failed. Trying's a joke. I'm a joke. I've thought that. I've thought, what's the point in trying if I'm gonna fail? What's the point in trying to play violin if I'm not going to be the best at violin, if I'm not going to be perfect and get into Juilliard and play concertos that change people's lives. What's, what's the point of doing that? What's the point of writing songs? I'm not going to make money doing it. I'm not going to be able to get the shows and the fame, the acclaim. People don't care. Why should I try? What's the point of trying? What's the point of trying if I'm going to fail, if I could fail? Listen, trying is not a joke. 
Trying and failing is not a joke. Not trying is a joke. There's basically three things you can do. When you try to do something good, whether, whether this is creative, this could be anything in your life, when you try to do something good, even if you fail, it's still good. The only options for you are to try to do good, to try to do bad, and to not try at all. So given those three options, why wouldn't you try to do what's good? Even if you fail, you're trying to make the world a little bit better with your creativity, with your hobbies, with your family, with your friends. The unlimited potential of you to try to do good makes the world a better place. Even if you don't achieve every goal you set for yourself, it moves you forward. It makes the world a little bit better. And you never know who you're going to affect with your art. You never know who you're going to affect with the things that you do in your daily life, just by being kind to people, by making cookies for somebody, by making dinner for someone, by holding the door open for someone. These are little things that make life better. If you're thinking these thoughts, then you know how hard life is. If you're feeling like I'm a failure, then you know how hard it is, then you know what everybody else feels too. And so by trying to do good, by trying to be creative, by trying to put something bright into the world, you can help someone else who feels like you feel a little less down feel a little bit lighter about them, their lives. When you do something good, when you try to do something good, it can have an impact and it makes living life a little bit easier, even if you're not the best. The world doesn't just need celebrities. The world doesn't just need millionaires. We need that. If you're a celebrity, if you make a million bucks doing your thing, that's awesome. That's awesome. But if you don't and you just find yourself making art at home on the side while, you, while your kids nap, if you find yourself just playing music in your bedroom for fun, that's fine. The world needs that. You never know who you're going to inspire just by the fact that you pick up an instrument. You never know who you're going to inspire just by the fact that you do some doodles in your spare time, by the fact that you cook, by the fact that you're nice to people. All of these things make a huge impact in people's lives beyond what you even know. Trying is not a joke. Not trying is a joke. We all struggle with this feeling of, I can't, this thought that, I, I can't do that, I can't do that. But you'll never know what you can or can't do until you try. You can't say what you can or can't do. You can only try. I'm really glad that I came back out here today, even if this vi video became a failure. I'm glad that I got to spend time out in nature. I'm glad that I got to draw again two days in a row. And it's worth doing and I wanted to share that with you and just to let you guys know that we all go through times of, of failure. Sometimes you try to do things and it doesn't work out the way that you planned. But also good can come from that. So it's worth trying. It's worth uh, pursuing. When you have that self-doubt, when you have that fear, say these three things to yourself. Create regardless of how you feel. Confidence doesn't make you an artist. Creating does. Making art does. When you feel like it's not worth trying, try anyway. You'll never know the full potential you can reach unless you try. And when you try and fail, don't say, well, it's a joke. I should have never done it. Trying to do something good and failing is still a good thing. You never know the impact you can have. If you found these things helpful, feel free to share this video with someone you know who could use the encouragement and check out my other videos on this channel. Also check out my Facebook page where I post a bunch of stuff related to creativity and art and music and just the whole journey of going through learning how to do this stuff and how to how to deal with the whole creative process. Remember guys, you can't control what happens, but you can control what you do. So go out and do something good. You have a voice that matters. Stay creative and I'll see you next time.